the last video we learnt how industrial revolution has had a huge impact on the entire world what are industries and how developing countries like india have benefited out of the advent of industries so just for the recap let's see what an industry is an industry is an economic activity that makes natural resources useful so it is an economic activity that makes natural resources useful but how does it do that with the help of the right kind of machines labor and uninterrupted power supply exactly so these are some of the most important factors that influence or affect the working of an industry however there are many other important factors that we will be looking at today so that we can understand how these factors together influence or determine the location of an industry and also the working of an industry so let's begin with a very good example the bombay spinning and weaving mill was the first textile industry in india and it was established in mumbai maharashtra so right here and this was established in the year 1854 so why do you think the very first textile industry was established in mumbai maharashtra but not in any other part of the country was there a particular reason well yes so this was because of the readily available raw material that is cotton in the deccan region of india so as we know that the deccan region is rich in black soil which is ideal for cotton cultivation now because the cotton cultivation is so high the production is so high in this region so the establishment of a textile industry specifically the bombay spinning and weaving mill that was a cotton textile industry was proved to be ideal in mumbai so you see that the availability of the raw material that is cotton was in abundance here and that is why the establishment of the bombay spinning and weaving mill was also proved to be perfect or ideal in this location however the bombay spinning and weaving mill today is known as the new great eastern spinning and weaving company limited i have another very good example for you right so just like india's first cotton textile industry was established in mumbai here similarly india's first iron and steel industry that is tisco was established in jamshedpur that is in jharkhand in the year 1907 now can you tell me why this now can you tell me why did this happen well this was because there were huge deposits of important raw materials for this iron and steel industry so the important raw materials include coal iron ore and limestone so this was because of the abundant deposits of raw materials coal iron ore and limestone around jamshedpur that led to the establishment of tisco in jamshedpur right so you see that raw materials play a very important role in the establishment or in the location of any industry densely populated areas of jharkhand odisha and bihar proved to be ideal for the establishment of tisco now why do you think i have specifically mentioned densely populated areas instead of just mentioning the names of the states around which tisco was established well hold on to the question for the moment we will come back to it look at these pictures here so the first picture shows you the laborers celebrating foundation day parade in tisco in 1932 so you will see that tisco was a greatly celebrated industry in india as it was the first iron and steel industry in india which provided employment to a huge population and helped in recovering the poverty and help in recovering the poverty issue in india right this is another picture showing the laborers of tata steel company in the 20th century and this shows you the tata workers today so you see that the tata steel or the iron and steel industry 
that is Tisco here, has proved to be an important industry, has proved to be an employment generator in cities like Jamshedpur. Now, coming back to that question, so here is a population map of India that shows you the states with major cotton textile mill or sugar mills, right? So in this legend, you see that the darkest brown color shows you the states or places with highest population, right? So here Uttar Pradesh seems to be having the largest population in India. So you see that most of the states marked here are places with major cotton textile mill or sugar mill and in the last slide we learned that even Tisco which was the first iron and steel industry in India was placed in an area like Jamshedpur which was surrounded by densely populated areas of Jharkhand, Odisha and Bihar. So why do you think we are continuously emphasizing on the densely populated areas. Why are we focusing on the population of a place? Why have these industries, these major industries been placed in places where the population is very high? Densely populated areas are ideal for such industries which are heavy industries and which are agro-based industries because they require labor which is abundant and cheap. So we just saw that the major cotton textile mills or sugar mills are located in places that have a huge population. Even the very first iron and steel industry was established in Jamshedpur which was surrounded by densely populated states of India. This was solely because these industries require labor which is abundant and cheap. So, agro-based industries which are labor intensive are also located in places that have a high population. So, we just saw example of cotton textile industry and sugar industry. Right. So, here we understood that besides the availability of raw materials, even labor which is abundant and cheap is an important factor that influences or determines the location of any industry. However, industries require both skilled and unskilled labor. Unskilled labor is an integral part of the construction industry, right? So Tisco, besides being established in densely populated area, and besides being surrounded by huge deposits of important raw materials, it also was influenced by another very important factor and that was power supply. We know that Tisco was established in Jamshedpur which is surrounded by important coal fields. So there were many coal fields that surrounded Tisco or Jamshedpur. Jamshedpur itself has a huge production of coal which is an important source of energy that any iron and steel industry requires. So these places marked here are the current important iron and steel industry in India. So you see that even today the most important iron and steel plants in India are located or concentrated in places that has a huge coal production. So the important iron and steel plants today are Bokaro, Durgapur, Jamshedpur, Vishakapatnam, Salem, Visveswaraya, Bhilai and Rorkela. So you see that these are places that has major iron and steel industry in India today and also these are places with important coal fields, right? So they prove to be ideal location for establishment of an iron and steel industry. So besides raw materials and labor, even power supply plays a very important role here. Manufacturing industries especially depend heavily on regular sources of power such as coal, oil, electricity and gas. And this is because they require these to work efficiently and smoothly. We just saw the map of India where we saw that most of the iron and steel industries in India today is located in places that are surrounded by important coal fields and places which has huge production of coal. So these iron and steel industries use coal 
as the main source of energy. So before moving on, could you help me answer this question? What is used as the main source of energy by majority of the iron and steel industry? Is it aluminium or is it coal or is it petroleum or is it lead? Yes, we just understood and we just saw how coal is an important source of energy for an iron and steel industry. So here is another very good example. The first jute mill in India was established on the banks of river Hooghly near Kolkata in 1855, right? So this was the first jute mill that was established in India near Kolkata and in the year 1855 on the banks of river Hooghly. So why do you think that the first jute mill was established on the banks of river Hooghly and not in any other place or any other part of India? Why do you think so? Because jute is an agro-based product which requires ample amount of water to be converted into a finished product, right? So River Hooghly provided ample amount of water to the jute mill and therefore this place was found to be perfect for establishing the first jute mill in India. Besides abundant supply of water, the place where it was located provided it with cheap and abundant labor and it, because it was an agro-based industry which is labor intensive. Also, the places around Kolkata had coal deposits and coal is an important source of energy for this agro-based industry. So the establishment of this industry was very, very easy and convenient in this place. Being the first jute mill in India, it makes it very, very evident that the water supply for such industries proves to be very important and proves to be an important factor in influencing the location of any industry. So water is an important factor for every industry, right? So you see that water can be used in many ways. And how? It can be used to wash raw materials just like the jute mill. The first jute mill required water for the washing of freshly harvested jute, which is a raw material. Other than that, it can be used to wash containers, machines. It can also be used to cool machines, dilute chemicals and drain out waste products. So you see that water supply is a key factor that influences the location of any industry. Now, take for instance, you want to establish an industry of your own, right? And you have ample amount of raw materials, you have good power supply, and you also somehow manage to have a good accessibility to water supply. Now, so you happen to place or locate your industry in one of these places, right? So you see that in some time your industry, even after having access to all these important factors, is not doing as good as other industries. But somehow you are not doing as good as other industries. Why do you think this is happening? Well, this is because of a very simple reason. And the reason is the landscape the region is not as suitable as that of a plain. A plain area is often preferred or is proved to be more suitable for the establishment of any industry. Do you know why? This is because plain area provides you with labor that is abundant and cheap. However, hilly areas are mostly sparsely populated and therefore it cannot provide you with cheap labor, right? So there is no accessibility to cheap labor, even if you call from, from far off places and it's going to, okay. Other than that, access to raw materials and market would also cost very much due to the steep terrain. So steep terrain makes transportation of doors to the industry and from and of the finish from the industry to other parts of the world or other parts of the country. Okay. So, hilly areas 
or places with a steep terrain and that are rugged places and desert areas are not suitable for the establishment and working of an industry smoothly and efficiently right so you see that topography here is an important factor that influences the location of any industry so just like raw materials just like labor power supply and water supply even topography of a place is very important in determining the location of so in this lesson we were able to understand how industries which are an important economic activity are influenced by various factors these factors may include the availability of raw materials that led to the establishment of first cotton textile mill in india we also understood how densely populated areas are very favorable for the establishment of any industries it because it provides with labor which are cheap and are abundant now we also understood that labor may not always be skilled an industry always requires skilled and unskilled labor so unskilled labor also plays a very important role in any industry particularly those which are labor extensive for example cement industry and agro based industries we further understood that the availability of the source of energy around the industries is very important fuel such as coal petroleum are important in any industry particularly those such as the iron and steel industry we further pointed out how water supply also plays a very important role in any industry so all these factors together help in the flourishment of any industry in our next lesson we'll be taking a look at how there are various other factors that influence the location of any industry so industries are an important economic activity that make resources useful but to make this possible it also requires certain factors for its establishment Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy; it is rewarding too. So register for free now.